Welcome to Authentic Walk with God. The topic for today's episode is Let Us Praise and Thank God. I'm reading from two portions of scripture, all from the same book. Psalm Division 113, verses 1 through 9, and Division 103, verses 1 and 2. I read, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, you his servants. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be praised, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is exalted over all the nations. His glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God? The one who sits enthroned on high. Who stoops down to look on the heavens and the earth. He raises the poor from the dust. And lifts the needy from the ash heap. He seats them with princes. With the princes of his people. He settles the childless woman in her home as a happy mother of children. Praise the Lord. I'll then read Division 103, verses 1 and 2. Praise the Lord, my soul. All my innermost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. David in this psalm exclaims, I'm talking of Psalm Division 103, um, David says, he really exclaims, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and that is within me, all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He goes on in verses 3, 4, and 5, if you have time, read these verses, to mention why God should be praised. He says, God forgives our sins. God heals all our diseases. God redeems our life from the pit. God crowns us with steadfast love and mercy. Yea, God satisfies us with good things as long as we live, so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. Do you agree with David? Do you think that God deserves praise in your personal life, in your family's life, in your business life, in your professional or vocational life? Do you think that God deserves praise in your educational life, in your economic life, and in your socio-political life? Then come, let us praise God and thank him. The year is drawing to a close. Let us come with thanksgiving to God. Let us count our blessings and thank him. The Bible says that God has good thoughts and good plans for us. We are the ones who mess our lives up. And we are the ones who end up in the ditch because of the mistakes we make in life. God loves us. Hence, he sent the Savior, even Jesus Christ our Lord, whose birth we are remembering at this time. God wants us to inherit his kingdom and experience eternal life. As we look at Psalm Division 113, with an intent of praising and thanking God, we must acknowledge our inability to adequately praise and thank Him, considering the magnitude of His blessings to us. Indeed, God has been good to us, and we cannot withhold His word deserving praise and thanksgiving. I do not know about you, but I cannot praise God and thank God enough 
for his goodness to me. Any, any gifts um, in kind or cash I give for the furtherance of his kingdom here on earth are far too little for his personality and as a token of my appreciation to him. But I'm happy to appear in his presence with my offerings of praise and thanksgiving. Sunday Vision 113 verses 1, 2, 3, and 4 say, and I read. It says here in this particular place, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, you his servants. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be praised, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is exalted over all the nations, his glory above the heavens. Praise is the highest service we can render to God. Someone said, and I quote, Praise, more than anything else, is what we will be doing in heaven. Unquote. What is praise? you may ask. In the context of our discussion here, praise is not verbal laudation. However, enthusiastic in feeling, appropriate in language, or transporting in music. No. What then is, is it to praise God? It is to have our whole souls and being attuned to his holy character and to his benevolent purpose. A holy life is the only true anthem of praise. Why is this so? It is because it is an inspiration. And each inspiration can alone give what? To all other services. Secondly, it alone can harmoniously develop and satisfy all the faculties and, and, and aspirations of our nature. It is a service for all men, as we find out in verse 1 of that psalm. It's also a service for all times. Verse 2, it's a service for all space. Verse 3. Secondly, praise is to the highest being that intelligent creatures can contemplate. In God's character, he is all wise, all holy, all merciful. God is incomparable. And we find this in verse 5 of this Psalm 130. Let us therefore thank him for his numerous blessings to us, especially the gift of his only son, who is the reason for this season. In addition to his uh, uh, blessings of all that we have talked about, and thanking him for all of these blessings, let us thank and praise him for his love, which made our salvation possible. Let us thank and praise God for his protection which kept us alive today and as we look forward to going into another year. As we experience rainfall and sunshine and their effects on our crops and upon our lives, we say thank you, God. In this country and all the countries of the world, God has continued to save us from devastating natural occurrences such as earthquake and massive flood, tornado, fire outbreaks, volcanic eruptions, name them. We cannot name everything God has saved us from. Every mishap, every natural occurrence that have been very devastating, God has kept us not because of what we have done, not because of our holiness, but because of his grace and mercy. Let us also thank him for his provision of our needs. 
the supplies he makes for us to feed and, and to be alive. Let us thank God for his fellowship, which is real and satisfactory. He does not disappoint. He does not exploit. He does not deceive. God is a friend and a father indeed. Does God deserve praise and thanksgiving from you? If your answer is yes, let us praise him. Let us thank him. Let us adore him. Let us worship him. Let us magnify his name. And let us shout it out that God is indeed God. And that he has sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to come and save mankind from the devastating effect of sin and, uh, and sinful living. May the Lord bless you continually as you are always in awe of his majesty and, and, and his awesomeness and his sovereignty. May you always worship him in spirit and truth. And this is my prayer that the Lord leads us from this year into the next year that we will remain thankful to him for all we have talked about. God bless you. Again, it is your brother and friend, Peter Nemadendon Wachuku, Director, Center for Family Life and Pastoral Care, Owere, Nigeria. God bless you. Very good.